What's happening, man? Oh, I'm okay. good, man. How's your holiday? Yeah, very good. Yeah? Very good. What's going on, Arsene? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bye, guys. Right, Eddie, uh, we're in the briefing room. Um, you definitely come in here a lot. Where do you normally sit when you're in here? I'm there, you know. Just this one here? There, in that corner, yeah. Man. Who was next to you like, when you first sat there? I feel like maybe Joe or Reese. Like, oh, okay. One of the Italian boys. Uh, Helen, Helen Massive just occupying that little space. Yeah, man, we, we locked off that little strip there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. There's this random seat in that corner. Is that for if you get like a red card in the game. <laughs> like, is it... I don't know who sits. I think it's Albert that sits there, you know? Yeah. Obviously, we're here because you've signed a contract at the Arsenal. How's it feel to sign your contract? I need to obviously finally get over the line, you know, it's been a while pending. So now I'm really happy to be here and looking forward to, to the new season. Of course, it was um, a very big decision early on in your career. Um, what did you have to consider? Like, what things did you have to think about before signing the contract? I've been at Arsenal for most of my career, so I think really you just had to consider the next steps, what you felt like the next steps kind of looked like and when the time was right and I spoke to the manager, it was kind of an easy decision at the end, you know, because I knew where my heart was all along. You've got more games than the second half of the season and you, bruh, you were scoring goals left, right and centre, absolutely smashing it. How would you assess, like, your performances? Yeah, it was really good. That's what you want as a player, you know, to play, to have the, the backing of the manager, the players to you know, go out there and do it again. And, yeah, and no, it was amazing. Obviously, we played some massive games. It was a really important run for us as well. So to have that trust and belief during that time and to also kind of replay him back with you know, good performances and goals is, is amazing. Of course, Mikel used to play for us. Did you see him around when you, you came to Coney? Yeah, I did. I trained with him a few times. Is it? I trained with Mikel a few times when I first came up, maybe like 16, 17. Baller. Yeah, he's good. Very, <laughs> very good, man. He but still he plays with you like, like now? Yeah, he does. He joins in the possession that and he's still... Still, still very good on the ball, man. Like, you can't really get off him sometimes. How's he developed your game? Did, did you become a better player under his um, leadership? One thing that's good about working under Mikel, you kind of know your roles and the tactics, what he wants from, from each player. And I think obviously been working with him for a few years, you know, I've improved a lot, you know. I think he's given me obviously a lot of confidence as well. And you know, it's really good to work under him and you know, hopefully I can continue improving on him. Like I said, you got a lot of games second half of the season. I feel like the Chelsea game is just destiny. How did you feel going into that game? Yeah, so I remember I think we played obviously the Southampton before. It was a quick turnaround, I think it was like Sunday, Wednesday. So it was more just excited to have the opportunity to play again. I think obviously I have a history with them. I was there from 9 to 14, I was released. So. To be fair, I've kind of played that game back in my head like yeah. thousands of times, <laughs> man, to be honest. So that was good, obviously, for me personally and also for the team. I think it was a real turning point. Yeah, you're talking about the team as well because the other Helen boys, they got on the score sheet as well. I love a story, me. Yeah, I love a story. But Kyle, number seven. Yeah, Smith Rowe, number 10. And now you, number 14. You must have always dreamt of having that number on the back of your shirt. Yeah, it's amazing, like you said, to be playing with obviously the Halem boys and everyone doing so well and playing such a role, you know, it's amazing. And obviously they've taken on two obviously big numbers and now obviously I've had the opportunity to do that. It's, it's a dream come true, I think. 14 means a lot to me. Like I said, I joined the club at 14. I was 14 at Leeds and obviously my idol growing up who also coached me was, you know, number 14. So when obviously the opportunity was there, it's kind of impossible for anyone to, to turn it down. So I know what it means to the club, to the fans. So I'm thankful for the the support the manager and obviously the, the idea is putting me for giving me the number. And I'm just going to try and create my own kind of story and have my own memories in the shop. Thierry Henry coached you a bit. Did he coach you here? Or did yeah, he... he coached me here. So my first year as a scholar at 16, he was here um, obviously as like an assistant manager. He coached us for the year, so that was amazing, man. I built a real good relationship with him. Every time I see him, it's always, you know, love. And yeah, it was a dream come true, man. I think he's my idol, my favourite oh, player growing up. I think bro. almost every <laughs> Arsenal fan, you know what I mean? So to have access to him every day, like pick his brain and he gave me so much confidence, you know, just always told me to believe in myself that I'm good enough. And when you hear that from someone that means so much to you, it's like, it's amazing. So yeah, it was one of my, my favourite years, obviously here at Coney, you know, that first year with him. And yeah, it was obviously a great time. You know, it's really interesting, like you said, you're an Arsenal supporter. So, you know, when it's this time where we're looking at players to come in and stuff like that, 
so we just signed Fabio Vieira. Do you like go on YouTube and see his <laughs> comp and see, oh, you know, I need to make this run so you can get in front of him and stuff like that? Like, yeah, you know, I've, I've played against him. You know, I played against him um, at the Euros for England, obviously, that, okay. that under 21 tournament. So, yeah, like you said, man, obviously, when you see those sort of assists as a forward, you naturally think, yeah, <laughs> you know, I might add it in to the group. Start you know licking I mean? your lips. So, no, nah, definitely. I think even though I'm a player, I'm still a fan. So, these things obviously do excite you. You want the best for the team. You want to be in a good environment. You want competitions to, so you all grow and can do well together. So, you're going a boy like me. Yes, yeah, yes. and I saw the pictures with your family. They must be so proud about the achievements that you've got this year. Yeah, man, it's, it's amazing. Like I said, um, you know, I was just talking to my family about it because they've been there for me, you know, through the, the struggles, through the, the difficult times, you know, taking me here, there, you know, going from church, running after church to come and, yeah. you know, get to the game. So it's nice to kind of like share those sort of moments with them, you know, they support me. You ready for Germany? You ready for America? Yeah, man, it's exciting. I think um, pre-season is always hard, difficult yeah. times, <laughs> but it's nice obviously to play different different teams and different different environments and you know, get out there as well, you know, see training in different facilities. So now I'm really looking forward to it and I've had a nice break, so I'm looking to hit the ground running in pre-season and yeah, start the season well. Do you remember your first tour? Yes, to Australia, man. Ainsley, bird catcher. Is that the one? It might have been. Yeah, we had the I think it was that shit. Yeah. I, 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 so relax, <laughs> man. Hey, <laughs> chill. <laughs> oh, man. Of course, uh, you had a few messages from our members. You know, they gave you a little call, uh, left you a voice note. I know they had over a thousand from all over the world. How does that make you feel? It's amazing, man. I think really grateful. Obviously, it's lovely messages. And yeah, I think it just shows how big a club is. Arsenal is, you know, I think. Even when I was away on holidays, you know, in different countries, I was getting so much love and a lot of people just showing a lot of love, you know, and support. So it's great, you know, I think hopefully it's nice we can, you know, we're going out to America, we can meet hopefully some of them. So I'm looking forward to it and yeah, really grateful for all the messages. Final thing, like what are your ambitions for this season? Just to play as many games as possible, contribute as much as possible for the team and yeah, just develop, keep developing, keep improving and yeah, help the team achieve their, their goals. That's the target, you know, it's for us all to do well and achieve something special together. Again, congratulations on the new contract, Thank new you, number man. as well, number 14. Thank Go you so make much. your own, bruh. Yeah, Thank make you, your man. own. Amen. I want to see 150 goals a season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing less. <laughs> you got to smash it this season, yeah? Thank you, brother. No worries. <laughs>